Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs. And today's video, we are going to be reviewing the laser engraver from We Create. They were kind enough to send me their brand new laser engraving machine to show you guys. Today, we're going to be taking your creations to a whole new level. Feast your eyes on the brand new all-in-one 20 watt diode laser engraving machine from We Create. right in to all of the amazing features that sets this engraver apart from the rest. First up, we've got six in one built-in accessories that you'll want in your machine. We've got an air assist, we've got rotary capabilities, we have a slack panel tray, we have a camera, uh, we have auto lifting for the perf perfect autofocus, um, and we have a fully enclosed setup for your safety. This machine has it all. The camera is a smart camera for precise positioning of your designs and the user-friendly auto lifting feature um, makes it a great choice for both beginners and professionals. There is also an additional accessory for smoke purifier or a filter. Speaking of features, let's take a closer look inside the machine so we can show you all the features that we just covered in detail so you can see exactly what we are talking about. On the left hand side, you'll see the laser head which controls the autofocus and the height of the machine to measure your materials thickness accurately. On the bottom left corner, if you look very closely, there is a red dot laser guide which shows you where the head is gonna be on the laser. This is a really cool feature that most of my machines do not have. On the very top of the machine, you'll see the smart camera, which allows you to take a picture of the bed and see what you're engraving on. Also at the top, you will see the air assist hose that connects to the back of the machine by power and by the air assist hose itself using an external air assist which runs through that tube and allows the material to be cut and the debris to be blown away. Speaking of the debris being blown away, on the bottom middle section there, on the right hand side, you will see the exhaust fan, which exhausts the fumes and odors from your machine out a window or using the external filter that is an optional purchase. To the left of the external fan, you'll see the rotary power and controller you will plug your rotary tool into that and then connect your rotary tool on the left hand side of the rails when you remove the crumb tray. Speaking of the crumb tray, this is the slack panel crumb tray at the very bottom. Half of the image is cut off so I can show you all the features in one shot here. But the crumb tray appears to be around 19 and a half inches by 12 inches when I measure it with a measuring tape. The crumb trays are removable to get extra height and the bottom is removable as well from the bottom of the machine to get all of your cut pieces out. Now let's take a look at the external parts of the machine. In the top left corner, you'll see WeCreate's logo. On the top right, you'll see WeCreate's brand name as well as the power button that allows you to start and stop your cuts. In the center, you'll see the expanded version. This is the fully expanded version of the machine. This will go up and down depending on the set focus of your machine with the auto leveling feature. You can see the fully enclosed metal casing here to protect you from harmful rays, as well as the orange top, which protects you from laser diode beams for your eyes. Speaking of safety, as soon as you lift the lid, the machine will shut off and stop your cut. As soon as you place the lid back down, your machine is now ready to cut and the, the lights come back on. As you've seen in the previous clip, 
and you have a nice orange glow inside the machine when you're looking from the top down. Let's take a quick look at the back of the machine with all the accessories attached. On the bottom left corner, you'll see the air assist, which is an external part that you'll connect by power and the air assist tube and the first two ports on the left hand side of your machine. Next, you have the power switch, which is just a rocker switch, which is on most laser machines out there. Next, you have the power source, which plugs into the back of the machine and into the wall to supply power to your machine. Next to that, you have the USB port that plugs from the back of the machine and into your computer in order to set up the machine. In the center, you have the exhaust port, which connects by a hose, which you can put out the window to exhaust or into your optional filter if you bought one. Next to that, you have the Wi-Fi antenna, which you just screw into place, point it up, and then you can connect to Wi-Fi. To the very far right of the machine, you'll see the blue painter's tape that I put over my serial number. You can find your own machine's serial number there. And lastly, on the table, you'll see the rotary tool. You can engrave round objects such as cups or rings with it, and there is optional accessories that comes with this. Behind that, you'll see the leveler, so you can level and make sure that your cups are straight and will get the perfect engraving. Above the exhaust port, you'll see a black area. That is where the machine levels up and down and has a cutout for the actual exhaust port itself. Speaking of performance, you're ready to experience exceptional engraving and cutting like never before. With an adjustable height of up to 100 millimeters and a slat panel, you can work on a variety of different materials with ease. Plus, with this machine, it reaches speeds up to 600 millimeters per second, delivering precise results with an incredible 0.08 millimeters by 0.08 millimeter precision. It can also perform a rotary engravings and cut up to 10 millimeters thick of wood. Now let's talk creativity. This has color cutting capabilities. It also comes with thousands of preset projects and SVG files for free. And a compatibility with laptops, tablets, and mobile devices, meaning you're only limited by your imagination. Um, it also has preset parameters in their software for different types of materials. And guess what? This also supports light burn. Um, for enhanced design options. This engraver allows you to make money with your unique creations that you make so you can pay it off in no time. Safety is paramount and this machine's got you covered. With an FDA class one certification, the enclosed design removes odors and smoke and minimizes noise and ensures your eyes are protected. It even features built-in fire-resistant metal, and an emergency button that stops the laser instantly if the cover is opened. Let's talk longevity. This engraver's got an impressive 10,000 hours of lifespan, so it's in for the long haul. Plus, with light burn support, your design options are endless, allowing you to create intricate projects with ease. Now let's check out the live speed of the We Create Laser Engraver. As you can see here, this is how fast you can expect your machine to engrave. Um, this is on Baltic Birch. They didn't have any preset settings for Baltic Birch, so I had to make up my own settings. I think this works pretty good. I can probably go a little bit less on the power. I kind of went strong on the power here. But I'm still learning their software and all the ins and outs, and I do plan on making a future video about that as well once they release the final version of it. Currently, I'm just using their beta version of their software, so there are a few things that needs to be worked out, um, but so far it is working great. I'm making this small little keychain, as you guys can see. Um, I am in the bi-directional scanning uh, mode where it just goes left to right. There is an omnidirectional scanning as well. It's a little bit slower, so I chose to do this option. You can choose whichever one you want. It's really cool that that's a feature that you can do either way. 
Um, but I'm going to let the rest of this engraving play out for you guys so you can see uh, the live engraving. And I did throw in a cut speeds for the keychain here as well. Now that we talked about the features of the machine, I want to share with you guys my personal thoughts and opinions on both the machine and share some projects with you guys that I made with the machine. Uh, first up, let's go ahead and talk about the projects here. This is a little gift card puzzle hanger that I've created in the past. You can hang it on Christmas trees or give it out as gifts. You can do whatever you want with them. But all I did was upload the design to the machine, use their preset settings that I've talked about, and then I decreased the speed by 1% because I added masking tape to it. So it adds a little bit of thickness and it cut right out perfectly with those settings. I will make future videos on different types of materials and settings on this too. So uh, keep an eye out for those. The machine itself, I can highly recommend this machine for you guys at the price point it is at. Um, I will leave a link with all the detailed information you need to know about that down below. Um, it is an affiliate link, so check that out. Um, the machine itself, though, is it's really cool, to tell you the truth. It just comes to life. Uh, the fact that it auto-focuses, that took me off guard when I first turned on the machine. I was not expecting that at all. The whole machine just lifted up. It was a shock of surprise in my face. I wish I would have captured it for you guys. Um, the machine it has a fully enclosed case which most diode lasers don't have that so that's a really cool feature to have as well but definitely the autofocus took me back and that is that is a really cool feature um overall though i really recommend this uh, machine for you guys um, and i hope you guys enjoyed this so far so there you have it folks the 20 watt diode desktop laser engraver machine from we create that's changing the game whether you're a beginner or pro, this machine is here to elevate your projects in a home environment. Thank you to WeCreate for sending it in and letting us check it out in person. I plan on making future ideas on this machine to show it in action, so hit that like button if you're as excited as we are. And be sure to subscribe for more updates on this in the future. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out our description section below for more information, pricing, and purchasing details on our Facebook page in the future as well. Uh, stay tuned for more videos to come, and we'll see you guys soon.